the Haiti nation collapses and is taken over by a cannibal gang who eats their victims. The Pittsburgh police will no longer be operating between 3 a.m. to 7 a.m., sparking fears of societal collapse. President Biden urges Congress to go to World War III in order to save Ukraine from Russia. What are Americans concerned about today? Americans are currently concerned about a country woman who fishes and does manual labor. You got that right. The internet is currently obsessed with this woman named Hannah Barron. A woman by the name of Samira stated that Hannah's accent should be illegal and women should be banned from doing manual labor. This accent needs to be illegal and women should be banned from doing manual labor like this. There is nothing feminine about American women. American women are literally men. Good morning, y'all. Quick update on the house because I've been pretty terrible about giving y'all these. Um, we took a little break for noodling season and to put out boxes. Now that it's dried in, we can do it at our own pace. But here she is. We're going to stain all that wood a darker brown and the shutters when we get that on. We'll have handrails, of course. There's the carport over there. Samira then stated that men should become passport bros, a trend in American men leaving America to find women. But many men are defending Hannah, stating that there's nothing wrong with women who are actually strong and independent. It's a good thing to have a dependable woman. High value American men should become passport bros. Don't they deserve better than the filth they are limited to in their own country? Do you agree or disagree? What are your thoughts? That Star Wars girl posted this meme making fun of Samira, stating, total mystery why you hate her so much. Everybody ask if we hurt these fish when we catch them. Well, for one, we put that zip tie in there. I don't know, we've been doing it for years. This is probably one from this year, but obviously the fish is fine. The way I grab them is when they come up and bite me, I grab them with this hand. That's why I always get chewed up up here. And then I run this arm between their gill and their gill plate. When they're this big, you can run it between without hurting the gills. Because see, it's between the gills and the gill plate. Arm goes through, gills are not messed up because all the pressure is going on that gill plate. The fish is fine. We'll turn her loose. Sorry, Mr. Mark, I know you want to eat some, but this is a big female. We got to turn her loose. I hear you, baby. <laughs> Camelcast official responded with, when useless women see other women that actually have life skills, it infuriates them. They're not used to seeing someone that is not nothing more than a whole, unlike themselves. Doctor responded with, jealous of all, most guys would rather have a girl like this than some girly wimpy princess. Samira's response, I can't wait for these men to realize they're literally just homosexual. A user named Saad threw more fuel on the fire by stating that men who find Hannah attractive are gay. Any man that finds tomboys attractive is gay. To be clear, Saad didn't even know how to spell gay the correct way. Y'all ever wondered what a 500 foot roll of inch and a quarter pecs looks like? And if you wanna know how fun it is to unroll this mess, not very. Especially when it's, you know, 100 freaking degrees out here in South Alabama, but. For a little while, Saad's post was community noted, stating that being attracted to a woman as a man is not gay. It is by definition heterosexual. Samira then posted this, the American beauty ideal, Taylor Hill, the versus bombshell versus Hannah Barron, the tomboy. Why is the American beauty ideal, the tomboy over the versus bombshell? Do American men genuinely prefer the former? Do American women aspire to the former or the latter? Let's discuss. The discussion went like this. Why has this girl triggered you so much? Saad then posted this about Hannah, tomboys are not hot. I repeat, tomboys are not hot. Attraction to tomboys is homosexuality and women shouldn't be working outside. What kind of man lets his woman work outside like a man? So I jumped up on this stack of bricks here that we got to send back because the block man didn't need them all, you know, pretty tall. And when I jumped up, I had my sunglasses right here in this little overall pocket and they fell down in one of the holes in the bricks and went all the way to the bottom. So Carolina might get a brand new pair of Blue Otter sunglasses. LL bro, you're actually retarded. Sad then posted this, you cannot bring illiterate twits like Hannah Barron home to mom. That is the honest truth. I ain't sure about the bag of this because 
I either go from looking like a rotisserie chicken when I'm relaxed or a dude. You sound exactly like the guy who dates women with balls, but because they are pretty, doesn't consider that gay. Hannah Barron made a response video about the whole ordeal. Good morning, y'all. I don't have a Twitter. I did at one point, but my account got removed for whatever reason, and I just hadn't got around to making another account. But apparently I'm trending on Twitter right now because some girl, hey Merle, some girl said that my accent should be illegal. Women shouldn't do manual labor. Oh, what else did she say? American women are basically men, and she just said that I was not feminine. Ooh. And I would tell y'all this girl's name, but I can't remember it because I don't have a clue who she is. So that should tell you how relevant this person is. But I just think it's hilarious because I grew up as the weird kid in high school who hunted and fished too much because back then it wasn't cool for women to hunt or fish or the whole country lifestyle. And I'm so proud of all the women in the outdoors now who are making that more cool or popular. So proud of us. I think we're doing great. But I've been helping dad build houses since I was 15. When I was a senior in high school, I taught kids how to weld in ag class. So I've done not manual labor. When I think of manual labor, I think of what my dad does. I'm nowhere near that. I just help as much as I can and I try and it's fun. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of blue collar women out there who are also feminine. And so I just think that you should embrace your own individuality. You should be yourself. And don't worry about what anybody else said because these folks talking about me and think they're going to offend me, that ship sailed a long time ago. I've been getting picked on my whole life. I grew up around men. Well, <laughs> so don't be scared to build your own box and don't try to fit in anybody else's. Be your own person and you'll be happier in the long run because of that. And don't worry about what anybody else has to say. Um, Hannah Barron then went on to say that she had to make a new Twitter slash X account because her original account was suspended. My final conclusion is that Hannah Barron is a cool person and the majority of social media agrees. If you'd like to support and follow Hannah Barron, she is on Twitter slash X as at Hannah Barron 96. We end this newscast with the funniest take on the situation. Username Alex Clark stated that people think the catfish video is pornographic. People are saying this video is borderline pornographic. If everything you see is porn, maybe you have a problem.